What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. The Maximum Football trailer has dropped. I'll put a link down in the description. Wanted to kind of preface some things here. Obviously, I had some concerns. It was an offensive-based trailer. Some of the coverage looks a little suspect. Some of the players freezing in the run game has me worried, but... Setting that aside until we get the game in hand, first thing I think most people are going to notice, the higher quality player models. Obviously, graphics were a big holdup for this game last year, so it's nice to see they made a big step in terms of the game looking better. I also thought it was interesting, when we talk about left-handed quarterbacks in a lot of football games, they don't actually have their own animations. We've shown at length they have to rotate around on the field, so it's nice that they actually recorded left- and right-handed quarterback throwing. See how that impacts the game. As far as the line battles, you see a little bit of it in the trailer. I think, to me... I I have to know how the controls are with that. It's nice to see a pancake. It's nice to see a defensive player win a battle, but I have to know what happened in order to accommodate that. The animations and the physics engine, apart from just the graphics, I think are probably going to be the next biggest leap in terms of animation quality. Physics were kind of hit and miss last year. Sometimes players melted and then kind of, you know, reanimated themselves. The play art, well, it's play art, but that doesn't look an awful lot like NCAA 14. As far as most people getting into this game, it's the dynasty mode, the playoff, the bowl games. We've talked about the recruiting, how in-depth that's going to be as far as going out and trying to get prospects to your team, training them once you have them to help make your team better along the way. And one of the things I think that got overlooked is you can actually go and play as different teams. So if I'm re building and my team isn't that good, I have the capability of playing a better team in game to see where I need to be. Secondarily, customization. I did a video on this yesterday. Probably best game in market when it comes to customizing logos, customizing teams. Not player specific yet, but still doing a lot as far as making the team unique to you and obviously have brought in a ton of licensed gear from helmets to gloves to cleats that allow you to get an actual on-field look. I think most overlooked though, it's the fact that Doug Flutie's name is on this game. It is the namesake of Doug Flutie Maximum Football. I know the college fans have really overrode that to a degree because there's so much excitement about having a college game back on consoles. But you do get to play as Doug Flutie. And if you're someone of my age, Doug Flutie is almost a mythical player as far as what he was able to achieve not only in college with just miraculous plays, but also carried over to the NFL. I actually talked to David probably a year ago and said, listen, if you've got Doug Flutie, you have to put in the dropkick. Because for players and fans of my nature, you know Doug Flutie was a very versatile player in what he brought to the field. So it is also nice to have some credibility to the game in the form of a football player many fans recognize and love. So with that said, if you haven't watched the trailer, I will put a link down in the description, like I said, so you can go check it out. I appreciate you watching this video, and I will be back very shortly with more commentary. 